Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today we are talking about mainly CO2 lasers and whether you should get the desktop type or a full size. Now, many of you know that I have the 55 watt uh, Onyx, the newer version. It's sitting right back there. And, uh, you know, if you've watched my videos, I've got it down. I've got it perfected. I, you know, did upgrades myself. And it's just working flawlessly now. I can make anything that I want. Uh, it's great. But it doesn't come that way out of the box. And uh, you're going to need to know a little bit. Of course, if you followed my videos, you could pretty much do it. Oh, and remember, like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And remember, all of the lasers I'm talking about today um, are things that you could... All of my files, I run a laser business. All of my files uh, can be done on any of these lasers I'm talking about. And, uh, of course, there's a link below for that. And... and Right now I'm talking about Monport, but you know, there's the Polar Pro, there's the GWI or GWiki Cloud, uh, you've got the Xtool P2, I'm going to talk about all of those, uh, or on the other side, you have a desktop laser, right? So here's, I just happen to have a, a, an affiliate with a, a Monport, uh, of course, because that's where I got the uh, the other one. And so whatever sales they have or whatever, I'll have a link below, but you could just click the link, kind of go through whatever they have right now and what their sale price is. And then I have, again, my discount code. And this is going to be your pretty much least expensive uh, desktop or full size laser. Okay. You can absolutely get better lasers. I want to make that very clear but you're going to pay for it, right? And so it just depends on your budget. I think one of the interesting things is that the price of the desktop laser is literally the same price roughly as the full-size laser. And you, this M52 chiller here, this is... Uh, CW52 chiller, it is literally like, what, four or $500 by itself. So, ultimately, the f we're going to cut a, cut it short here. Well, actually, I'm, what did I tell you? Like I said, the, the um, this is your least expensive options. And there are, you know, tiers to this. If you are somebody who just doesn't want to mess with it, you want to get a laser that it's pretty much set up right out of the box. You want great customer service. You want to run a business. You want to need to make sure that it's going to be working all the time. You're going to want to step up to, you know, a machine like Thunder. Thunder Laser makes really amazing machines. They're very much known for their customer service and for a laser that's just going to work without issues for a long time but the fact that you could buy three of these <laughs> for the price of one of these so you know it's all a give a take it just depends on what you're looking for uh i certainly would love to have a you know nova or a thunder laser or an aeon or something there are higher end lasers um I would just, in my opinion, make sure that they work off light burn. Uh, then you can go to any laser that you want. And there'll be a lot of stuff that I'm leaving out in this video. I'm just giving thoughts off the top of my head for people who are looking to buy one of these and you're not sure which one to get. Maybe you've had a diode laser for a while. You're going to be doing, you want to do more acrylic. Uh, you want to do clear acrylic, uh, or you just need a bigger bed size, or you want to work faster, you're ready to move up. And, uh, you know, how do you make that decision? Uh, I 
have said before in my videos, and I'll say now, even though I have a desktop laser, if you can get a full-size laser, get a full-size laser. In so many ways, these are just better. And they're also more expandable. You can take this 80-watt CO2 laser... And you can make it a 150-watt CO2 laser. All you're going to be doing is getting a bigger power supply and then making this laser tube area. You're just going to extend it. And I've seen this done so many times, and it works great. So you do have that ability. Uh, there's just... It's, it's going to be easier to fix, easier to adjust, easier to clean... It's going to be better made. It's going to be more well put together. It's going to be more universal. I just can't even tell you. These, 50, these desktop lasers, no matter who you're buying it from, they're reasonably cheap. Cheaply made. Yes, mine does everything I want it to do. I feel very confident in turning on the machine and making whatever I want. But... Trying to do upgrades on specific things, how things are put together, it's limited. And of course, the bed size is limited. You can't change that. So you really need, need to think about that when you're buying a laser. Now, the exception may be the P2, but let's take a look at that right now. So the Xtool P2 showing right now is $4,000. So you need to really keep that in mind. Yes, if you only have space for a desktop like I do, I don't have a garage to put it in. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling, so I really don't want to get set up into that sort of thing. You know, I, and just a side note, I'm looking to teach lasers in Southeast Asia, maybe, you know, a year, maybe two years. I like to open up a business somewhere in Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, Thailand, the Philippines, to teach people lasers. And frankly, to enjoy my life uh, in a place where it's a little bit less expensive that uh, I can do more for my money. But there's a lot, of, a lot of other reasons for that. But it's just something that I want to do. So I don't want to get tied up into having a big place here and then, uh, you know, having this huge laser that I'm going to have to move or... or sell to somebody who's able to pick it up and that's the thing about these full-size well let's finish with the the p2 great machine i'm not saying that it's not a great machine it has its problems but uh for four thousand dollars to be able to get a 55 watt machine that will work on light burn is isn't native to light burn so it's not going to be perfect so you're going to be working a lot on the XCS software. And then later you want to move up to a CO2 laser. You're going to want to learn light burn anyways. So I just not a big fan of the P2 for the amount of money that it costs. And then of course there's the Glowforge, which I again would not recommend for the price and for a lot of other reasons. So it really does make you take a look at these desktop lasers. I mean, you can get, look at a 90 watt CO2 laser with a 24 by 16 bed for $3,000. So you have a thousand dollars, you know, this, it comes with the chiller. So you have a thousand dollars to do upgrades, to learn, to do, make all these extra things. You see, it's, if you can, if you have a place, a garage or something to put one of these types of lasers, I really recommend you go this way instead of a desktop. Now, realize these will come in a big crate. Like you are not going to move it by yourself. You're probably going to want to have somebody to help you take the crate apart and push it inside and all of these things. So think about all the logistics about what it's going to take to get it in your garage or in wherever you're going to put it. But And once it's there, you're probably going to have to do some mirror adjustment. 
you're probably going to have some things that you have to do. That's the part of the price that you pay for saving so much money. But I think it's uh, completely worth it unless you're running a full-time business that speed is everything for you and getting to work. There's just that reason that you really need it. Then go and spend $10,000, $20,000 and get that sort of laser but if you're just in the middle of this, you want something you know is going to last 10 years that you're going to be able to upgrade. And once you get it perfect, you can just make anything. You just throw your wood down. You know it's going to do it. You have the settings. It's just fantastic. So do I wish that I had, you know, one of these lasers instead of my desktop? Absolutely. But I just don't have the room for it. I don't have... So it makes more sense for me. So you just have to go through this in your mind and see what makes the most sense for you. But if you're not somebody who wants to do upgrades on your machine and wants to really learn and have to tweak and have to deal with some disappointments to get it where it needs to be, I highly recommend you do not buy one of the a polar pro a g wiki cloud or a, a monport onyx i just don't do it. it you are going to be disappointed uh you can go through the videos that i've done on the onyx and you can see you're pretty much going to need to deal with those things on any of those machines and those are the two to three thousand dollars machines with you go to the P2, you're going to have a lot less issues. But again, it's not native for Lightburn. Um, but it's still a fantastic machine. And it again, it does have its issues. And you may see all these things about, oh, you know, the, the X tool you can put on this conveyor belt. And you can do all these things. Trust me, you are probably not going to use any of those. It's a lot of marketing. Unless you have... A, the, that's the catch 22 here. You can't use those extended things unless you have a really big space for them. And if you have a really big space, well, just get one of these, it's, you know? So it's just, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And if you've looked into the curved engraving and all that, it takes so much time, so much work to get it to do that. It's just not going to be worth it. So, there's always a certain person who each one of these lasers, including the P2, including the Glowforge, is right for. That it's hard to make all of those situations. I can only see things from my point of view. And my point of view is that, hey, I need to be able to work from inside my place and be able to, at some point, sell this or pass it on because I'm not going to be in the country. <laughs> so, you know, or I'll be go leaving and then coming back. So it just won't make a lot of sense to have something big. So, hey, looking at it from that point of view, and a lot of you might be in the same situation where you just don't have a garage, but you want to be able to cut acrylic. So there I am. And, but for a lot of you, you do have a garage, you do have a, maybe a full-time office space that you can get this into and uh, it's just way better all the way around to get a full size CO2. So just go through these kind of get your mind flowing and saying, Hey, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, this will make the most sense in my life. And although it's very, you know, this is a lot of money still in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to lasers, this is not a lot of money uh, and it will retain a lot of its value. You, you should be able to sell this to somebody else uh, if you ever need to upgrade to a larger business machine. So I didn't talk about the fiber lasers or uh, MOPAs or anything like that because they're generally that if you look at my files on Etsy, you realize that's just not what I do. Now, there may be a time that I do that, but it is not today. So I'm talking about the lasers that will do what I do and what a lot of you will do, making crafts of all different types and maybe selling them or giving them as gifts, whatever. So that's kind of the focus here. 
Now, I'm sure that I left a lot out. Uh, I tried to cover whatever I could in the basics here to help you make a better decision, but there is infinitely more. Uh, so just, as I said, use my link, use my discount code if you're going to get something, but just look around, learn, and think, okay, what makes the most sense for me? But I'm telling you, if you can go to a full-size machine, I really recommend it. All right. I think that's enough for this one. Uh, let me know below what I forgot and what other things you need to know before you can make a decision. I, of course, recommend everybody get into lasers because I love them and I think they're the greatest thing ever. But, uh, you know, that's just me. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.